So what's going on guys? Uh, today's going to be kind of a lazy video. I'm not going to do any close-ups or anything. I'm basically just, as you can see, kind of laying in my bed. Um, really not going to do any close-ups. I just did a 24-hour uh, shift at, or I did an overnight shift at work, so I'm kind of beat. Um, but I did want to make this update video for you um, so that you can kind of see what's going on. Um, as of right now, the 55 gallon tank, nothing's really going on except for the parrot sickle's getting kind of big. Uh, he's growing up pretty quick, as you can see, he's about hiding behind the log back right there. Uh, he's actually kind of getting kind of big now. Um, he's about half the size of my convict right now. Uh, hopefully by the end of the week, maybe next week, he'll be a little bit bigger. Um, and lose some more of his color. He really hasn't been losing most of it yet. Uh, he is getting spots of little spots of orange here and there, though. So uh, that's about what's going on with that. Um, the catfish in this tank are doing very well, as well as my plecos. Uh, the angelfish has gotten a little bit bigger, but not really too much. Uh, he's doing really well since the Jack Dempsey's are out of the tank. Everybody's doing very well since the Jack Dempsey's are out of the tank, to be honest. Um, I haven't seen one fish that hasn't been doing really well since the Jack Dempsey's got out. Uh, the convict has come into his own and, you know, has become more of like a regular community fish since the Jack Dempsey's came out. He doesn't hide in the upper corner of the tank anymore. So that's kind of a nice little perk. Um, the clown knife still hangs out up top there. I actually just got to check on him because, uh, you know, he, he hasn't been moving very much. Um, he doesn't look like he's dead or anything, but he just, you know, he hides back there all day long, and I just worry about him. So I keep checking on him every couple of hours just to make sure he's all right. Uh, Jules, I don't know where she's hiding, but uh, she's somewhere in the tank. I hope. Like I said, I've been working all night, so oh, there she is. Beautiful red fish. And look at that, she's gonna come out and say hello to you guys. <laughs> You're causing my camera to unfocus. Beautiful red jewel uh cichlid. She's apparently very, very uh or she's very colorful. Um Probably one of my favorite fish next to my Tiger Oscar. Uh, Demon's been doing very well uh, since Jack Dempsey's came out. The only thing I'm kind of peeved about is that he keeps trying to jump uh, out of the tank, and on his last or on his last attempt, he uh, hurt his dorsal fin. Uh, tore it up pretty good. Screwed up most of his back. Uh, as you can see, most of the dorsal on his back there. Ripped off a few of the, the top there, and now he's got a nice split at the top of the dorsal fin, which was kind of upsetting, and I was really not happy about it, but it is what it is. Uh, as far as the 30 gallon tank goes, I'm really loving this green algae that's growing. Uh, as you can see, it's growing really nice across the top of the log there. I'm actually going to swap that log out. Uh, from that tank into the 55 gallon tank and take one of these logs that has like no algae because the plecos do such a good job cleaning it um, and swap that one into the 30 gallon tank so that it, you know and keep doing that so that it keeps growing the green algae and then this way the you know the 30 gallon or the 55 gallon tank with the p two plecos they can eat the green algae off the log and then just kind of keep re replenishing uh, because this tank seems to grow it very well. Um, as far as the tetras go and stuff like that, I'm basically just going to get rid of them. I don't like them. They're kind of boring to me. Uh, and they're really just blah and plain. So, like I said, I think I'm going to get rid of the uh, tetras. I'm going to drop them off at work on uh, Wednesday. So the black skirt tetras, the two of them that I have, and the four lamp eye tetras that I got are all going to go back to work and uh, be adopted out. Uh, I did lose one of my blue rams overnight uh, last night, or it was two nights ago. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Um, 
I, more than likely it was just a a sick fish. I don't know what what was going on with it, but like I said, more than likely it was just a sick fish. Um, I really don't think it had anything to do with my water quality or anything like that, because the the levels are all perfect. So even though I have way too many fish in the tank, uh, the levels are all a hundred percent. So it doesn't make any sense why it died. Um, it also could have been the you know either the blue van rams or the the other blue ram that's in there uh, beating up on them. So I don't know who did what or what happened, but all I know is I found it dead this morning or yesterday uh, morning but my two Bolivians are doing very well uh, that's one of them going across the tank right there my other one's right there and then the blue ram is hanging out at the top of the log right there uh, top shed it's a really beautiful fish as you can tell get the hell out of the way you stupid lamp eye tetras um, but yeah, it's a really beautiful fish. I really like them. Uh, look at this curious ass Bolivian. I think that's the big eyed one. I think that's the female. It's got gigantic fucking eyes. And it's so curious. I love it though. And then this one is just a little Mr. Badass. Yeah, I think that's actually what I'm going to name him just because he's so little, like, he's the boss of the tank right now. The little blue ram there is actually a little badass, and he bought, he he uh, lately has been just guarding up that spot. Uh, he wasn't letting anybody go over there, so I think with this tank, uh, I'm probably just gonna change or you know, like I said, get rid of the tetras, and then the you know the I'm gonna keep all the catfish. I'm actually gonna throw a couple more or a couple of more uh, breeds of like catfish in there. I'm going to try maybe some albinos. Uh, I, do, I do like the Julie catfish that we got in at work, so I'm going to maybe throw a few of those in here. Um, the emeralds and the albinos are kind of boring to me, so I think maybe I'll, I'll go with the Julies and maybe... Uh, I got enough pepper cord cats in here, so I'm, I'm done with those. Um, but I do want to throw some Julie catfish in here and uh, probably just a a regular uh, bristle nose or a rubber lip pleco in here, um, just so I have an algae eater. I, actually, I might not even throw an algae eater in here to be honest, just because I really don't need it. I could just keep swapping out the logs, and any of the algae that gets on the glass, I could take care of myself. What are you doing, Spanky? <laughs> By the way, that's my long hair mini dachshund. I also have a Jack Russell. Um, but yeah, and like I said, I want to make this a uh, a purely ram tank. I'll probably go with like I don't know, maybe six of each, maybe four, um, probably just four of each. I'll probably do four uh, four blues, four Bolivian, and just leave it as it is. Um, but the catfish are definitely something that I'm interested in doing, and I'm probably gonna add a few more. Like I said, probably about four of the Julie cats. And the peppers I already have like eight, so it is what it is. Um, the water, though, the water uh, itself, the nitrates and everything is perfect, so I'm not gonna mess with with it too much. Um, just because, it, like I said, it's it's immaculate, and I don't want to mess with it. Um, but anyway, like I said, I'm exhausted. I just did it overnight, and I'm going to bed. And my Jack Russell is tackling me now. <laughs> evil dog but anyway I'll end the video with a nice little close up on the Oscar or nice little view of the Oscar and the angelfish together I oh, like the black convicts coming in to say hello <laughs> but I'm going to end the video on that and you guys have a great day